this is news because why is someone shopping a forged document of this kind to news organizations covering the Trump-Russia affair? Last week, three journalists resigned from their jobs at CNN after that network retracted a story they had written about the Trump administration related to the Trump-Russia affair. CNN says the sourcing of that story, in retrospect, did not meet its editorial standards. Also last week, Vice retracted two stories about the Trump administration, like CNN. Vice also cited problems with the sourcing of those stories. The thing that's knocking around in the back of your mind right now is from 2004, when the legendary Dan Rather lost his career at CBS over a story for the Evening News that delved into George W. Bush's truncated service in the National Guard during Vietnam. The Rather team had documents that they got from a source that they checked out, but the sourcing of those documents was later attacked and undermined. CBS was ripped to shreds over the process it went through that resulted in those documents being put on the air as the basis for that story. Still, over a decade later, the origin of those documents is murky. But undeniably, CBS running that story was a disaster for two things. It was a disaster for everyone involved, and it was a disaster for a news story. Right, that was, in personal terms, that was the end of a trusted voice of reason and insight and perspective, Dan Rather, as a regular presence in the family living room. In terms of the news, that was a spike through the heart of the story of George W. Bush's National Guard Service keeping him out of Vietnam, which was a true and interesting story, and which really might have been a serious ongoing political liability for candidate George W. Bush. But nobody was ever willing to touch it again during that campaign because of the way those documents purporting to prove out the worst aspects of that story blew up like a pipe bomb at CBS News. And so, heads up everybody, this is what I mean by an inside out scoop. Somebody, for some reason, appears to be shopping a fairly convincing fake NSA document that purports to directly implicate somebody from the Trump campaign in working with the Russians on their attack on the election. It is a forgery. Let me caveat that. It is either a forgery.